The boss has given me a message for you. Says there's some sort of nasty demon running around in the Aldina Plains, to the east of Logris. She thought it might be the one you're looking for. Wasn't the Eastern Highway closed off from Logris? That was only temporary. It's back open now. If you follow the road, you'll reach Stonebury Village. There you'll find one of ours who actually saw the demon. You want to know more? That'd be a good place to start. Got it. Hey, that's the same direction I sent. Give the... Tabitha our thanks. It's looking more and more like we're on the right track. We ought to go check out that Bloodwing story. Then let's start by going to Stonebury. Hey, Aizen, did I say something wrong back there? No. I just didn't think we needed to give the Bloodwings any information for free. Huh? He means the Earth Pulse points, kid. We're the only ones who know about them. But aren't we on the same side as the Bloodwings? We're not enemies with them. But I wouldn't go so far as to call them our friends, either. That's just how it goes in the underworld. Things can change at the drop of a hat. A poison hat. But how are they supposed to trust us if we don't show them trust in kind? That messenger knew our faces, even though we'd never met. He was here waiting for us, even though we hadn't told anyone where we were going. You're right! We hardly know the first thing about them, and yet they seem to know every move we make. They could easily sell us out if it struck their fancy. They'll work with us as long as we're a useful ally in their resistance against the Abbey. But the more tricks we can keep up our sleeve, the better. We've got each other's back, but only as long as we hold a knife up our sleeve. That's what counts as trust in the Underworld. That sounds terrible, but at least you can trust that Tabitha's cooking will be tasty. <laughs> Can't argue that. I'm so happy things have been peaceful around the capital. I can come to the harbor to shop without fear. I heard that those demons that made a mess of the palace have been wrecking towns all over, though. But Shepherd Artorius and the fine folks at the Abbey are on the job. I bet those demons are quaking in their britches. Let's hope that's the case. Of course it is. Lord Artorius is incredible. The demons have been mostly cleared from the area around the capital. Your love for the Abbey and the Shepherd are great and all, but I'd keep it down. If you keep poking around the bushes, you might get yourself a snake. Uh, a snake? There's a rage-crazed girl out there who hates the Abbey. She's a real viper, that one. She sounds awful. That's what I hear. Who are you calling a viper? The Eastern Plain is finally open for travel. I hear that the people of Stoneberry are alive and well. My husband and I can breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> I wasn't worried about him at all. He talks tough, but he was really worried. Oh, sorry you don't know who we're talking about. It's his apprentice. What kind of apprentice? My husband's an architect. Even the royal family and the abbey commission his work. He's been at the docks here on a job. He just finished and we're about to return to Logris. These people don't care about all that. Why did your apprentice go to Stonebury? He's young and talented, but a bit eccentric. He said he wanted to help create a new town, so he set off to the frontier. 
A craftsman has to focus on his work. Creating a new town. Ha! He should know his place. But my husband didn't disown him. That boy's fearlessness reminds me of my husband when he was young. So you understand how he feels then? I didn't say that. If he thinks he has the talent, he's free to do as he likes. But if he doesn't follow through with it to the end, I'll be done with him. Did you hear that? He thinks the boy can do it. If you ever find yourself in Stonebury, go... <laughs> right, I'll do that. <laughs> Sorry about my husband. He can be a real grump. Don't worry about it. I'm pretty used to people like that. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? to what? Your powers. I think I finally got a handle on them in a way that feels right. That's good. Hopefully you won't faint anymore. Yeah, and I'll keep learning too. I hope we can make this work out. Yeah, definitely. Fingers crossed. <sighs> What's wrong? Nothing. Hey! When you and Eleanor made your pacts together, she gave you a true name, right? Was it a good one? Uh... True name? What's that? It's a special name in the ancient tongue given to a Moloch as a necessary step in forming a pact with a human. I gave Bienfu the name Fushikas. It means thing. <laughs> That's pretty messed up. It's just my own little way of showing affection. So what kind of name did you get, Lafayette? I... Uh... What's the matter? She didn't give you a really weird name like Mogulu gave Bienfu, did she? If you're not happy with it, I can talk to Eleanor about it later. So go on and tell me... I'm fine with it. And I can't tell you anyway. Well, you don't have to get so worked up about it. A true name is not something a Moloch just casually divulges to others. They carry a special meaning to us. Speaking it to anyone other than our Pact Keeper carries a special meaning. Between comrades, it means we trust them with our lives. In other cases, it's... Practically a confession of love! You... could have said something sooner, you know. Lafayette's at a delicate age. 
You should be more careful in the future. Oh, really? It's just another way of showing affection. be the demon Tabitha wanted us to know about. It's flying free, but could it still be a Therian? I just felt an Earth Pulse point. It's that way, somewhere near the top of that mountain. Let's check it out.
It was a close one, but I am the victim. Pulse now. It's up above. Guess we're in for some mountain climbing then. No barrier. I must have gotten it wrong again. I wouldn't be so sure of that. That dragon could well have broken its barrier. Or it might have been too powerful for the Abbey to subdue. You could be right. After all, dragons make for the strongest demons. The problem is, we don't know if it's a Therian or not. Yeah. Let's stick with the plan and head to Stonebury to gather more information. The only one here who thinks the real problem is how we're supposed to fight a frickin' dragon? I can't wait to take a good look around. Whoa, now that's what I call a view. I agree that it's beautiful, but don't leap about so much. You'll fall. Hmm. I can sense many earth pulses under this place. I figured you'd notice that. An intricate web of earth pulses crisscrosses the land under the Aldina Plains. Mountains like these would normally take tens of thousands of years to form, but these popped up in about a millennia. So the earth pulses have affected the land? 
Exactly. Long ago, people wielded arts that allowed them to manipulate the Earth pulses and control the very land itself. How could arts like that exist? Perhaps they pushed against key points on the Earth pulses? Like how acupressure can improve a person's blood flow. That's a rather forced comparison. But you may be right. Either way, those arts have been lost for eons. I'm impressed, Aizen. You know a lot about everything. Not at all. There's so much I don't know. For example, the name of these flowers. That's why I travel. To learn. Aldina alabaster grass. That's the name of this flower? Yes. A long time ago, my brother showed me a picture of it in one of his books. They're fragile flowers. They die quickly on their own. But if enough of them gather together, they can survive. Fields of them form beautiful white carpets of flowers. In some cultures, they symbolize kinship. The bonds between people. Kinship? Huh. I'll remember that. You and your brother taught me something new today. I'll never forget either. If I were a Bloodwing, where would I be? We'll start at the inn. Yay! I found so many blueberries! What are you gonna do with all those? Make jam? I'm going to feed them to my chickens. That way they'll lay eggs with purple yolks! What? You know that won't work, right? It sure will. 
the color of yolks change depending on what a hen eats. My grandma taught me that. Hmm. Actually, we always feed our chickens corn. Is that why their yolks are yellow? What are you going to do with purple eggs anyway? Tourists are coming from the capital again, right? I bet they've never seen purple eggs. So I figure I could sell them for a lot. <gasps> Maybe I can even make our village famous. You've thought this out. But will they really sell? You know what they'd make, right? Purple fried eggs, purple omelets, purple egg fried rice. Ugh. Hey, would you want to eat a purple omelet? S strange things sell, right? You don't have to be so mean just because you can't think of a better idea. Oh, sorry. Here, let me help you. Fine. Go catch a whole barrel full of jewel beetles. If we feed them to my chickens, we'll get eggs with yolks like shining jewels. I really wouldn't want to be your chickens, but... Okay. What a carefree village. But you know, this is what really makes humanity amazing to me. Attempting the impossible. Reaching for the stars just as a matter of course. Aye. Though we may stumble countless times on our way, we can achieve anything we put our minds to. Attempting the impossible, huh? That's all well and good, but there are some lines that should never be crossed. Purple eggs. Blech. Raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, they all grow in abundance around Stonebury. We even have a fairy tale about it. One day the ground was covered with so many fallen berries, they all became stones. Stoneberries? Is that how the town got its name? The spelling has changed some. Berry flavored gels! I've never had one. We've exported our jam and fruit for a while now, but our raspberry gels are still being perfected. Aw, rats. Are the vegetables growing in that field special too? I don't think I've ever seen anything like them before. You've got sharp eyes. But that's right. They're a rare species of wild potato. They're red and they're called radish bells. We discovered them in the mountains nearby. Sadly, the potatoes are actually highly poisonous. Really? They look so good. They do. But the skin and the sprouts are toxic. If you aren't careful when removing them, it's poisonville for you. Deadly poison aside, they're sweet, fluffy, and go great with butter. And when they're fried nice and crispy, they're the best. So just skin them and sell them. What's the problem? Yes, we've thought of that, but the way they are now, you have to peel off quite a bit before you get to the edible part. Peel one as big as your fist, and all you get for your trouble is a bit of meat the size of an egg yolk. That's why we're selectively breeding them. One day, they'll have only a thin layer of poisonous skin. Why not breed them to get rid of the poison altogether? With no poison, bugs will eat them, and they'll be more vulnerable to cold and heat. With potatoes, as with people, getting rid of everything harmful isn't always for the best. <laughs> Savid. Well, hello, sailor. Are you waiting for someone? Nope. Just saying a prayer for someone. Someone? Let's go. Clearly, there aren't any blood wings here. You're just going to leave? I'm right here! Everybody has times they need to be alone. Fee. Right. Coming.
What do you think he was praying about? Well, for one thing, he was drinking a bottle of Thorny Forest. Oh my! The drink you share with your special someone when you're going to be married for life! How romantic! But getting your hands on that stuff is no small feat. I can only hope I'll get a chance to taste it someday. That must have had an important meaning for Savid. That's why you left him alone. Don't read too much into it. You're Velvet, right? Huh, you must be the one who's seen the demon we're after. We saw a big snake-looking dragon fly over on the way here. Is that what you saw too? Yes, that's the one. It nests at the top of the mountain in Aldina Plains. We went to look ourselves. No dragon. It only returns to its nest on rainy days. Rainy days, you say? Oh, Just look at what you went and made the weather gods do! This doesn't bode well. Not at all! Thanks. We'll give it another shot. 